energy level up. We need like, I wanted to walk out to like, I am the tiger. <laughs> I really, I thought that was like science and education related. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, anyways. What's going on, guys? I I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> oh, thank you. Does it, hello? Is it? Hello? I think anyway, guys, let's, you know what? Well, the acoustics yeah. are good anyway. Should we, let's yeah. just, I'm just going to take mic. control for a quick second. Hi, my name is Jake Roper. I run a channel called Vsauce 3. Yeah. This is Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Matthew Santoro. He runs a channel called Matthew Santoro. <laughs> Greg, they are the brains behind ASAP Science and ASAP Thought. They're a relatively new channel which you all should check out. Woo! And since I'm going to be going first, I'll just continue speaking. Because um, I just love hearing my own voice. And I'm going to stand up. Is that okay? I'm going to stand. Yeah, I find this super. I like standing because also I can gesticulate better when I'm moving around back and forth, pacing like this in front of you. Um, hi. I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy that you guys are here to watch are things, also videos that aren't ours, but are just really amazing and incredible. And I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent for a second, because that's a thing that I do. It's, I'm really honored to be up here with you guys, because you two have some of the most creative people in the world. And yeah. I, yes. Yes! <laughs> they do. It, it's really true, because it allows anyone to make things. And making things is incredible. It pushes you as a viewer and as a creator to do more and to be more, which I think is very exciting. And because of technology, we have this opportunity to do this. Because of technology, we're here together right now. And it's amazing because you're all very good looking. So thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks for the good looks, Jeans. Um, but technology connects us. It's been what? It took 60 years to go from putting man in the sky to putting man on the moon. That's insane that we can do that now. I can call someone in Tokyo and visually see them through a webcam. It kind of blows my mind. And with technology, though, we have this, there's this sense that, oh, we spend too much time on our computers or on our phones, which I kind of disagree with. Because people will say, oh, we're not being social. Well, we are being social. We're tweeting, we're Facebooking, we're doing whatever, we're sending snaps to a multitude of people, to maybe thousands or millions of people that you can't do generally in a conversation. You shut up with one person. Now we're sharing things with everyone. And when we do that, though, it leaves a digital footprint. There's part of us that is there forever in the cloud, or whatever you want to call it. It's there, always. And we have to live with that, and to be traced and tracked. And I was thinking the other day, recently, I know I'm getting like conspiracy theory-ish, but bear with me, because it deals with the episode that I'm going to show in a second. Webcams, I think, are very, very cool. But I was thinking the other day about how they have a light that turns on, but it's not a necessity. That's a courtesy that the light turns on. It doesn't need to be on for the camera to actually be recording and filmed. Which, to me, was kind of, oh, that's a realization. I'm going to put a sticky note over my webcam now. But we carry these things with us all the time. Our phones, they have all of our information in them. And they keep track of us, literally, with GPS through the cell network, through Wi-Fi. And it's very interesting. Because we use them as a personal device, yet they're very not personal, because a lot of people can access them. Recently, there was a video game that came out called Watch Dogs, which is fantastic, very enjoyable game. And they kind of deal with that. They talk about what it would be like if technology we're so ubiquitous with everything that you could control it. And by having control of technology, you have control of people, you have control of data, and data and information is one of the most important things. So that got me thinking, is that true? Could that actually happen? Because watchdogs seemed like an exaggeration. So the main point that I got to was, is watchdogs possible? Roll 